Hey, what's up everyone? Every year, you know, I make one of these videos and I figured, why not? Let's do it for 2015, even though it's 2016, let's check it out. So you're gonna see my pretty beat up low pro roller right here. And I always keep a small reflector in the front. I'm hopefully upgrading the bag soon. Uh, I just have a bunch of filters, random wires in the top net, but you'll see I always have a, um, a Joby uh, Gorilla Pod, a little one, and an HDMI cord that I used to use with my old monitor. Now, once again, you saw basically a wedding kit last time. You're kind of seeing a similar kit with a few different variations. Uh, in this case, I installed my Nikon D700 with the MB grip. I have a couple batteries and everything that I use. I have the lens flipper from Going, uh, which is cool. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And that, you know, you can have two lenses at once with that. So really kind of going by compartments, you see I have the Cinegel filters that you could use for your flashes. Uh, they work great. They do exactly what you need. Uh, Geodis Rocket Air to get the dust and grime off of your lenses. I have a waterproof battery case right there and the Lexar USB uh, CF and SD card reader. So one of the most reliable things out there. Uh, one of my favorite lights under 30 bucks from Amazon, the Neewer CN160 uh, LED light. Fantastic, bright, it will literally blind you. That's a lens hood for the Nikon 24-70 2.8 filming this video. That is a Velo grip right there. It has uh, three inputs that you could put into that. That's the F-Stoppers flash disc. Obviously, I reviewed that, and that's a cool little thing. I don't know if it's practical for what I need, but I have it. I have a GPS case right here with my Tascam DR05 that I use only go for interviews or just anything that I, uh, I'm too far away to use my Rode mic, uh, microphone on that right now. I have a little flash softbox that I never use uh, whatsoever. The camera you're not seeing is the Nikon D600 also. My Black Rapid uh, RS7 lens pro kit I got, I haven't really tested out yet. Rode Video Mic Pro I use to film all of my videos, one of the best investments I ever bought. One of my big boys, the Nikon 70-200 VR 2.8. Portraits, sports, whatever you need with that, something on the go. It has got a little bit of weight to it, but it is totally worth the cost. Uh, just my uh, memory card, Think Tank, Pixel Pocket Rocket, CF, SD cards, micro SD cards. It holds them, uh, you know, pretty much all. I just have, uh, you know, flowing lens cloths, some extra batteries for my Nikon D600. I've got three now, I think. And the Peak Design Capture Clip. Uh, really cool thing uh, from Peak Design uh, that I uh, tested out this year. It's unique. It has, a, you know, a couple flaws with it, but uh, overall, it's actually a really solid piece of gear uh, to hold an, an extra camera or something like that. And here, I always have my. Everyone says, "Oh, my baby," <laughs> it's kind of true. My Sony A6000 with the uh, with the 16 to 50 kit lens. That's my on-the-go type of camera. I won't shoot a wedding with it, but it will be useful for that. One of the biggest things you'll see this year is my Nikon 105VR uh, macro lens. I upgraded from the 60 to that. Here's the Yang Nuo uh, 560 Mark IV or something like that. 560 Mark IV that I use. It's like 70 bucks or something like that, and it's well worth the price. And one of my first flashes that I've gotten and one of the most reliable is the Nikon SB800 with the extra battery adapter. So I really recommend that. And then in here, really, I just kind of keep my flash triggers. I have the, um, the the little guys, which I'll leave. I forget the name of them right now, but I'll put them down in the description below. And I have my Yang Nuo RF603 triggers version 1 and version 2. But that is all of my gear.